So today I picked up my first parts for the Jeep. I just got the Jeep about a week ago. Uh, I picked up the rear seat recline kit for the JKU. I got a 2015 here. So it just reclines the, the seat back a little bit for the rear seat uh, passengers. Just makes things a little bit more comfortable, especially on longer trips. So let's go ahead and get started. One thing to note, make sure you read through all the instructions before you get started. It makes things a lot more easier. You know what you're getting yourself into. You make sure you have all the right tools. So make sure you read those directions before you start. All right, so here, we're gonna start in the back. It says we're loosen up these uh, three bolts back here behind the back seat. Let me get in back here and let me show you. Right here and right here. And on this side, make sure you don't loosen up these seat uh, belt bolts. That is not what you want to do. Just these three right here. Also, when removing these ones, you do not want to take them all the way out. It says you only take them out about a quarter of an inch, which is about what we got right there. Um, so make sure you, you only loosen them up. You don't take them all the way out. So the next step it says to, to remove these front bolts. There's four legs uh, on the front of the rear seat. You want to remove those bolts. And once you get those bolts removed, uh, what you want to do is you want to fold your seat up, grab the seat belt, wrap it around the front of it and then wrap it around the headrest. That way it holds the seat up and out of the way. That way you can get to the bolts down here that we'll get to after we take care of this other side here. And again, once you have those bolts out, grab the seat belt, fold those legs down so you don't hurt yourself. Put the seat belt in front of the seat. Wrap it around the headrest. Make sure it's tight up there. So it holds it up. Next step is to remove the bolts at the bottom or back side of the seat brackets. There's one, and I think there's another one on that side, seat belt bolts. You do not want to touch those again. That holds the seat belt in place. You only want to touch and remove the bolts that holds the seat bracket in place. There's one, there's two right there, and the third one right there. So the next step here after you remove all these bolts, the three bolts down there, is you take the, the square bracket and you put it, you have to lift up the seat. Right, use your shoulder if you can. Line it up. Now with these back brackets too, you're gonna reuse these factory bolts in the fronts. They provided uh, longer bolts for you to use since the bracket's a little bit taller in the front. So you wanna make sure you hold on to the factory hardware because you're gonna reuse it, especially in the back back here. All right, so I've got the other one on the other side. So now let's go ahead and start to reinstall. It says to just have it finger tight initially until you get all of them started and then you can start to tighten them all the way down. Now 
Once you have them all snug, what you wanna do is you wanna go back through and make sure they're all super tight. Um, I can't remember what the torque spec is, but it tells you what it, they need to be. Make sure you torque them down to that spec. Once that's done, it's time to undo the seat belt up here and fold down the seat. Have the brackets hang down. And now you wanna get the larger brackets that came with the kit. The holes are going to face the rear. Here you can see the hole is kind of offset. Make sure the hole's to the rear. Put one under each leg. Grab the new hardware. It's a little bit longer than the factory bolts. Slide them through. Make sure they go down into the hole. And then we will tighten them once we get all four down. Uh, you want to make sure these brackets stay square underneath these feet. That is very important. Again, like I said earlier, it gives it the most surface area and gives it the most support. So that is very important to make sure that they stay square. Once you have all four in there snug, what you wanna do is make sure you go back through all four of them and make sure they're all super tight and torqued down to the spec. Once you have the floor bolts in up front underneath the seats, don't forget to come back here and tighten up the brackets on the back that you loosened up. Okay, so we've got them all installed. I don't know if you can tell, but right there's the bracket. I snugged all the bolts down. It's all set to go, and it's made a huge difference. Right there's the recline of the seat now. Let me get in. So this is how it is now. And before it was more like this so you've got a lot of a lot more recline it's a lot more comfortable here is the packaging it's made by innovative JK products it's a great product it was a pretty easy install it took probably about 45 minutes to an hour at most and really the longest part of it was getting those bolts broken loose it really wasn't that difficult otherwise so definitely recommend the product um, and I think it was 60 bucks at Amazon it's 60 bucks pretty much quadratech four-wheel drive all those places but definitely pick it up